All right, so I was buttoning this thing back up together, and I, I didn't realize I had only pulled the snorkel out. I hadn't actually increased the airbox. So as you can see there, I have a two inch hole going in there. I drilled the hole, and now I'm gonna pull this guy out. If you look down, you can see my rag right there, and then that's what I took out. So now it's gonna breathe a little bit better. I know some guys have cut the box, but uh, yeah. So now we can pull this rag out of here. And okay, so now I got the airbox in. It's really easy on these. Uh, the Suzuki you gotta mess with a little plastic knob there, but these you just slide it in, make sure it's seated, and then you have this uh, clamp rod tire, just like a real dirt bike. And uh, here's the new hole that's in there. Okay, guys, so I'll show you the. I just cut this two inch hole here. Like I said, I can always seal it back up, but uh, I just loosened up the uh, wiring here and I added this to the pulling out the snorkel. Um, I thought I had actually modified this airbox, but I didn't. I guess it was the other Honda that had the modified airbox. But uh, yeah, there's the air filter. So we shall see. Hey guys, how's it going? You got the verbal widget guy back with you. Uh, I was just doing some uh, carburetor jetting on the XR650. I wanted to take it out for a ride today, but it may just be a very short ride. And um, so I changed the main jets from a. Um, if the main jet was a 158. And this was a kit I bought off of eBay where it had these jets in it. Um, and they're the original key in carburetor jets. But um, it had a 158 main. And I was reading a bunch of forms and I went down to a 155. And that's the number there. That's my lowest one it starts at. Uh, the original main jet it comes with, I believe, is a 150. So I'm now two sizes bigger than stock. Because I believe it goes 150, 152, and 155. I had a 158. Um, when I was running the 158, don't know if you can see this very good, but um, yeah, the plug's a little on the dark side. It's got a little white right there, but yeah, overall it's uh, on the rich side. So I th I'm hoping this will uh, help with the fuel economy, maybe even run a little bit crisper. Um, now on the pilot jet stock is a 50 and I have a 52 in there so I just left it um, I think this kit here came with a 52 and a 55 but um, I just left the 52 in so right now I'm basically running these two numbers here the uh, the 52 pilot and the 155 main jet I have the mixture screw it two turns out from being all the way screwed in and I don't know if you guys ever saw it, but uh, I have a, let me come over here, uh, I have a video out on how to make your own mixture adjusting uh, screw. So like if you're out and you need to turn the, and I just made it, there it is, and it just hooks to the bottom of the uh, mixture screw and then you just turn it like this. And I just leave it tucked down in here case I ever need it and when I have adjusted it in the past I just do it on that side but this is just kind of the way it went back together today uh, I did flush and refill the brake fluid while I was doing it and the inside of the carburetor was cleaned out and for the DR650 guys and especially for the KLR guys um, who haven't seen an XR650 apart it is Bare bones, man. No frill. That's why this thing weighs less than those two bikes. Uh, but this is like when I used to own CR500s and CR250s. I mean, this thing, like I said, when I'm uh, riding it, it actually feels like a dirt bike. You know, so uh, 
and everything is so well engineered on these guys so everything's got the special cable holders and you know the airbox um, just everything is super cool so um and even the air filter you can get to without any tools with uh, three quick turn fasteners but yeah if you've never seen a uh, honda that's where it's at and you know it's got the oil cooler the scoop but anyway so i'm getting ready to they didn't have the iridium plugs and i remember the reason i went iridium plugs uh last time um it's just because it's kind of hard to get to but i just uh went with a standard plug because that's all they had at AutoZone by the house. So, but yeah, there's kind of the difference. So, we'll run this in, and I actually did pick up an extra one to keep with me. I thought I had one, but I didn't in my little tool bag. So, anyway, that's the portion of this video. And I'm going to get this thing back together and change some clothes and hopefully go out for an hour ride or at least you know just to see how it runs and uh um, yeah get a little time on the bike but yeah that's all i all i know right now so i'll talk to you guys later widget guy over and out